Phillips an honor to introduce to you the next mayor of the city of Tulsa, Monroe Nichols! Yes. If, if there's anyone out there who still questions if Tulsa is a place where big things are possible, if there's anybody out there who doubts that no matter who you are, you can make an impact, tonight, you got your answer. More Tulsans cast a vote in this year's mayor's race than in any other in our city's history. They waited for hours to early vote. They cast their absentee ballots. They showed up before work, or they voted on their lunch break, or they rushed just before 7 p.m. this evening. They did it because they understand that the work of building a strong city is the work of all of us. And that work starts at its most basic level with our greatest American principle, one person, one vote. And so it's been a long time coming. But tonight, we made history. As you all know, I, I grew up with a grandfather who was a pastor, a dad who was a police officer, a mom who was a probation officer, and as the commercial says, I knew when I was younger I was accountable to the law and the Lord. But now as your mayor, I am also fully accountable to every citizen of our city. Tonight, I want to thank uh, someone I competed with in this mayor's race, 
Commissioner Karen Key. I thank her for her service to the city. And although a campaign brings out differences as we compete, I know that both the commissioner and I share a deep, deep love for this community. And I look forward to working with her in the months ahead. As we know in this life, no one accomplishes anything alone. And the reality is, is I wouldn't be here today without the sacrifice and support of my greatest champion in my life, my mother. <laughs> Dr. Ramona Curtis. And the fact is, I am a reflection of my greatest accomplishment in life. That's becoming a dad. So Gavin, you are my inspiration, and I'm so honored to be your dad. And tonight I honor you for what you mean to me and the sacrifices you've made to allow me to serve the city and the state. To my team, led by campaign manager Dana Walton, and finance director Will Blanton. The two of you took a chance, and tonight is your night. And it is my mission to ensure that your contributions on this campaign are a catalyst for what, become, what will become the greatest city in America. And then to all of you here tonight. Many of you went out on a limb pretty early on for a candidate who didn't have a legacy name, didn't have the early backing of all the typical power brokers, but we didn't give in to the pressures of maintaining the status quo. We instead shared a bold, a clear, and a detailed vision of what Tulsa could be. It was your support that inspired folks to take to the streets. Your support that got people knocking on doors and making phone calls. It was your passion that changed minds and caused others to flip their support. And it was your reputation that caused a few people to take a second look. Now, now I know you didn't just do it to win an election. I know you didn't do it just for one candidate, but it was your advocacy that made tonight happen. But now, it's time to get to work. While today is a celebratory night, let's not forget, as I speak here right now, there are thousands of people who are preparing to sleep on streets. Let's not forget, that the future of our young people is not quite yet guaranteed. Let's not forget that economic inequality still threatens our city's vitality. Let's not forget that crime continues to impact our neighborhoods. And let's always remember our obligation to make sure that the relationships that are still strained with the city and our tribal nations is smoothed over. I say all that to say, uh, the challenges ahead of us are stubborn challenges. They are immense challenges. Our time to impact them will be short and it will also be difficult. But in Tulsa, we do not shrink from our challenges and we meet, will meet every last one of them on a pathway to win the next decade and beyond. Now, there will no doubt be some setbacks, maybe a few missteps. But we will continue to march forward. We're not going to be a city that's going to mark time. We may not always agree on the pathway to greatness, but we will always be united in our commitment to get there. And I will be an honest leader, willing to engage all citizens, even when we disagree. Now, we started this effort 15 months ago. And tonight, as I said before, is a high point in our journey 
Our work now begins. A victory alone does not guarantee that our challenges are behind us, but it does provide us with the greatest gift we could ever ask for, the opportunity to move beyond them. The opportunity not to be defined by our past, but, but together to build a brighter future. Now, I'm not ignorant to the fact that many Tulsans felt disenfranchised this election cycle because of the absence of a candidate they felt best reflected their political ideology. But this election gives us a chance to move past partisanship and become a city that represents the values of both parties, the values of self-reliance and individual liberties, and the values of equality, inclusion, and fairness. And so tonight, I'm already thinking about tomorrow. Because tomorrow represents a new day, a fresh start, and a new way of getting things done. I am so excited to be your next mayor. I'll wake up every day fighting for every person in this city. I love behind Together, the never forget, we will end homelessness as we know it. Together, we will improve outcomes for students all across this city. Together, we will expand economic opportunity and make sure that Tulsa is the safest big city in America. So let the word go forth across the country. Tonight, on the grounds of greatness, we proclaim that Tulsa is a city on the move. And our best days are still ahead of us. God bless each and every one of you. And God bless America's greatest city, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you, guys.